And we are pleased to be joined by the special teams coordinator of the New York Giants, Thomas McGahey, not a stranger to this building or this facility or even this studio. How important was it for you to be able to come back and be a part of Coach Dable's staff? You know, first things first, you know, this organization has been really good to me and my family. Uh, I'm a giant for life. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been great to me, and I, I, I couldn't wait for the opportunity. You know, I interviewed other places, but couldn't wait for the opportunity to come back and, uh, and try and build something special here with Coach. Did you have a relationship with Coach Dable prior to this? You know, I didn't. Uh, you know, it was one of those deals where after I talked to him on the phone, I felt really comfortable with him. Uh, he felt comfortable with me, and uh, I wanted to come back. So that's, that's kind of how it happened. Your track record as a special teams coordinator is top shelf. Uh, you get rave reviews around the league wherever you've been. You've been a part of a Super Bowl championship here. One of those Lombardi trophies uh, has your name on it in that lobby. Can you talk a little bit about sort of the fabric of this organization and that culture that Coach Dable and Joe Shane wants to reestablish? Because you know what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a charter franchise. You're talking about 1925 and uh this franchise has been here for a long time and it's had a lot of success. And uh, you have a lot of pride when you walk in that lobby and you see those trophies. And uh, just to know that your name's on one of them, you really understand uh, what it takes, the commitment, the pride uh, that the city takes in the organization. And uh, it's, it's exciting to be a part of it. Uh, it's one of those things where, you know, every morning when you get up, you know, it's not a I got to, it's I get to. And everybody doesn't have that opportunity when they get up and go to work to be a part of something special. And uh, this place is special. It's been special to me and my family. And I just, I'm, I'm super excited about being able to come back and continue uh, to try and help this football team get back to uh, the heights that it's been to before. Longtime sports writer uh, Rick Goslin, who's been covering the NFL for a half a century, uh, he does his special teams rankings at the end of each year. And despite the fact that 2021 did not go the way Giants fans would have hoped, special teams got a good ranking from Goose. Uh, I think you guys were ranked sixth. What are some of the areas, though, that you want to improve upon with the special teams? Uh, probably the most pressing thing is always net punt. Uh, you know, we, we want to always be in the top 10 when it comes to net punt because it affects your field position. And also, we want to be more explosive in our return game. And I think that's something uh, that we're going to push towards for in this offseason. So we got to make sure that, first of all, we, we address those issues uh, with the net punt. And that's a that's a holistic thing. That's just not the punter. That's the personnel. That's the gunners. That's the interior players. Uh, address that. And then we also want to make sure, again, that that return game is explosive. One of the luxuries that you've had is Graham Gano, And mm -hmm. with the way he has kicked the ball the last couple of years, what makes him so good? and that operation so good? You know, Graham is, he's experienced. He's a seasoned vet. And uh, what makes him special is his consistency and his work ethic. Uh, every day he comes out and he's always working to get himself better on and off the field. Like he's constantly stretching and finding new ways to where he can help recover and preserve his body. The operation, you know, with Riley and Casey, they've done a great job. You know, he doesn't do it by himself. Uh, but Riley's an excellent holder, and uh, Case is a, is a heck of a snapper. So that battery is, is, has been pretty good for us over the last couple of years. You know, you have a very interesting job because there's an offensive coordinator, there's a defensive coordinator. You're the special teams coordinator, which means you have to speak to players on both sides of the aisle, so to speak. Right. You've got to deal with offensive guys at all the different positions, defensive guys at all the different positions, and then when there's injuries and the roster gets shuffled, you got to try to figure out how we're going to handle this. What are some of the things that are most important in dealing with that on a weekly basis? Just being able to make adjustments. Uh, you know, it's just relationships for me. Like, I try and create uh, individual relationships with every guy in the room. And then when guys are shuffled during the course of the week, I tell the media all the time, you know, when I speak to the guys out there, I make gumbo every week. Like me and Blev and, you know, we're, that's what we're going to do. We, we make the gumbo. It might be chicken gumbo. It might be shrimp gumbo. It might just be soup for that week. But it got to taste good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that, that part of it, that's, I take pride in that part, being able to make the adjustments on the fly and, uh, and be able to, to succeed and make things work and help us win games. 
Coach, we appreciate a couple Thank minutes. You. I appreciate Welcome it. Welcome back Bob. or with or remaining with the yeah, New York Giants. Yeah, Good I'll to have it. you. Yep. And let's look for some explosive returns in 2022.